Now we're going to take our close-up views, our one-to-ones. And this is especially important if we are going to try to match adjacent teeth, or maybe you had a front tooth or a crown that you placed and wasn't quite right, and you wanted to photograph it to send to the laboratory so that they can make their changes. Here at Keating, we get a lot of that. And I will tell you that the dentists that are more successful in providing their patient with invisible dentistry or beautiful dentistry are those clinicians that are taking photos, good photos. All right, we're going to shoot this as a one-to-one. -one. Now, what we like to use is what we call a contraster. And it's basically a, either a black piece of plastic or rubber-coated metal. And the nice thing about this, and you've seen this in dental journals or articles, where there's a black background. So I'm going to go ahead and have Marissa turn toward me. I'm going ahead and put this in the mouth behind the teeth, turn toward me. This is a one-to-one. -one. Perfect. Good. Now we're going to go ahead and take a left side one-to-one -one close up. Turn to your right. Put this behind the teeth. Perfect. Turn to your left. This will be a right side. Relax this side a little bit, Marissa, and she's got a little bit of spit bubbles here. A little bit of air. Don't let it startle you. One to one. Perfect. Good. Okay. If we're going to be shooting a photo with a shade tab, typically I'll run those at about a, a one, one to 1.5 so that we can see the shade itself. Let me show you an example of that. So we'll go ahead and grab a shade. And this could be maybe just to show the ceramist the pre her previous shade if we're going to do veneers or anterior crowns or for matching adjacent teeth. The important thing is to take a shade tab, and I would recommend multiple tabs so the ceramists can see the relationship of the different shade tabs to the shade of the teeth. Turn toward me a little bit. Make sure it's on the same two-dimensional plane. If I put it on top of the teeth, it's closer to the flash, and these flashes are so bright that it can actually distort the color or the relationship between the natural teeth and the shade tab. Turn toward me a little bit more. Again, I've got this at about 1.5. I want to make sure I have the shade, the teeth, and the shade tab number. We see so many cases here at Keating where dentists have it take a photo of the shade tab, but you can't read the shade tab designation. So we want to make sure we have that in the photo. So if we want to try to match in size a ledge, we just turn the shade tab, tab upside down, make sure that the designation of the shade tab itself is in the photo. Good. Perfect. Okay. Well, I hope that clears up some of the confusion that you may have about intraoral photography. It really is very simple, very quick. A lot of doctors are delegating this to their assistant or even their hygienist. And when you provide this to your ceramist, to your laboratory, believe me, it, it's, it's worth a thousand words. So thank you for visiting with me today. Please visit us at www.keatingdentalarts.com.